guys, uh, like I said in my last video, my alloy hubs have turned up. Um, actually found some for an MGT 8.0 uh, after you know searching relentlessly for Thunder Tiger ones. All I've come across are the plastic ones. Don't want to refit them. I mean, all I did was touch a curb and the thing just fell apart. So yeah, they just got to go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have any tracking issues or um, sort of camber issues with these new hubs. They can't be exactly the same. Uh, I kind of hope they are, but I doubt it. Um, anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get them fitted. Right, I've searched all over uh, YouTube and the net for um, anyone else that's uh, ever changed these hubs. And I didn't really come across anything. Um, so I'm just going to do this by uh, common sense. So I uh, can't seem to... Uh, I've had a quick go at this off camera. Uh, see if I could just pop these off these ball joints, but I can't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these, this entire, um, these entire, this entire part off, um, upper and lower legs, um, steering arm. I'll take all the hub apart. I'm not quite sure how that comes apart just yet. So first things first, I'm going to remove this steering arm. Should be quite simple. And he says. in from the underside so there we go that's steering linkage off right uh, looking at it I'm going to unscrew the shocks There's one Right, next I'm going to remove the, uh, what do we call these, the pins that hold the upper and lower arms on. That should be a screw thread, that should just pull out. And there's one, and the other one's just behind the front bumper. Two. Right, there we go. That's the whole assembly off. As you can see with these pins for the upper and lower arms, uh, the pins are different lengths. Uh, the upper is obviously a lot wider than the lower. Just have to remember which way they go in. Right, so looking at this, next thing I'm going to do is take these little grommets out of here. Right, this one's a broken one. This is the one we cracked. That one, I reckon, will just pop out of there. There we go. Not sure how this one comes out. I reckon those uh, ball joints are going to have to be unscrewed from the arm. Yeah, there's no way we're going to click them into the new uh, alley ones. So let's remove those. Which one is it? And I'll only do one of these guys as well. Um, I'm not going to go through fitting all four on camera because they're exactly the same front and rear. Note to self, get some power tools mate, get some power tools, right, that's the arms off, they're in pretty good shape to be honest, uh, it's worthwhile they're off just having a look for cracks and damage, but to be honest, as you can see, they've not really had that much use. Right, it's got to figure out how to get that drive shaft out of there. It looks like we've got a pin through the hex. 
and I'm guessing there's going to be something in there that holds that pin in. Um, I'm guessing it'll be a little grub screw or something like that. It's not that size. Go for the little one. Right, there we go. There's a little tiny grub screw in there. Awkward little bugger, aren't you? Right, there we go. See that or not? A little tiny, little tiny grub screw in there holding the pin in. Uh, I think we'll lock tight that in as well on the way back in. Push the pin out. There we go. All we're left with now is the wheel bearings. Okay. There's one. Little spacer. There we go. Two bearings and a spacer, and that's him. Nasty. Can you compare it to that, which I hope fits, by the way? Because that hole does look a little bit smaller than that one. But, uh, I'm thinking we're going to be okay. That is thicker than that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Anyway. While these bearings are out, they feel fine actually. I say they've not had much use, but it's going to stick them in the tub, give them a quick spray off with a bit of brake cleaner. Now I'm just going to spray them with a bit of bit of active oil to just keep the bearings lubricated so first bearing in on the outside doesn't look like it matters which way they go around they're both sealed off each side put the little spacer in put the bearing in Make a note where the little get in there. The little hole is the hex back on. And put the pin through. Alright, just got a bit of medium strength Loctite. I'm just going to put a little tiny drop on this grub screw. Don't want that coming out. Make sure that pin hasn't slided, uh, slid out. There we go. little ball joint in for the lower arm uh, which one do we use that one same for the upper fitted. Right, so we've just got to take this, take this play out now. That's what these are for. Well, they're the old ones. So 
obviously we're not going to use those the new ones look slightly a bit different they've just got a little uh, rubber wash around them probably because it's metal it's just going to hold them in a little bit better so we'll bang them in All these do is just take the play out of the arm. Obviously, if you have them too tight, like that one, there'll be no, there'll be no suspension travel. So you just need to back them off. That's perfect. Same for the lower. Might put some Loctite on these actually, they're not, they're not that tight of fit in there. Let's see how we go with that. Right. So this can now be fitted back onto the car. Just the opposite way around that they came off. Nice and easy. Let's put the pin back through to hold that in place in the lower arm. That's that one, that's in place now. Click the drive shaft in. Now before I put the upper arm on, because it gives us a bit more travel, I think I'm gonna try and put these struts back in. Now there's two holes that these can go in, so you just need to check the other side, if you're doing them one at a time anyway, and just make sure you get them all in the right, on the right setting. You awkward bastard. Right, I'm just going to put the upper pin in, hold everything in place. There's one. There's two. Right, just screw the struts back into place. Just be careful when you're screwing into plastic that you don't over tighten it common sense really but you'd be amazed how many people keep going and going and going you just need to nip up and give it another quarter turn so that's them pins back in there's one there's two steering linkage back on making sure you don't lose the little washer off the uh, off the screw these hubs are actually threaded as well there we go Put the little nylock nut back on it Says. There we go. There we go. You got to be happy with that. The uh, the the anodized blue goes with some of the anodized. Uh, blue with the car as well so that looks pretty good to be honest so I'm happy with that guys all right there we go guys all uh, all four of them uh, as we can see what I was saying about the uh, uh, the toe on these I don't know if you can see that the the rears are way out
the fronts are going to need some adjustment as well but uh, yeah, it's not a, not a big problem to just, just be uh, adjusting the little tie bars at the back but um, that's fantastic to be honest yeah we shouldn't have to replace them again uh, depending on what we crash it into this time